Today, in chemical engineering, we're going to talk about material balances with chemical reactions. So here's the problem statement we're looking at. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, you might want to pause the video uh, and then find the appropriate course of action based on the problem, so that way we can go through it together. But all of this being said, there's a reaction of ethane, which is chlorinated uh, into C2H5Cl plus HCl. Um, some of that C2H5Cl is also uh, has a side reaction to turn it into C2H4Cl2 and more HCl. And we know that 100 moles of H2H5 or C2H5Cl are produced. And we know that the feed contains ethane and chlorine, but all of the chlorine that is in it is consumed. So the first question asks us to draw and completely label the flow chart. So what we've done here is made a flow chart of the reactor. Reactor. We know that there's only two components going in: chlorine and C and ethane. Uh, but we don't know how much of each of those are going in. Coming out, we know that we have 100 moles of the C2H5Cl. We don't know anything about how much ethane comes out. We know that all the chlorine is consumed, so there's going to be zero moles of ethane, uh, chlorine coming out. And then we know nothing about the HCl or the C2H4Cl2. The second part of the, react of the question asks us to do a degree of freedom on this uh, flow sheet. So if we look here, we have five unknowns, which are all the question marks here. Uh, and then we would have three independent atomic species because we have Cl, we have, chlor we have chlorine, carbon, and hydrogen. So those are three atomic species we could do it on. We have no inerts, so nothing's going straight through, where if we knew the inlet amount, we know the outlet amount. And we have no other information. So there's two degrees of freedom. So currently we can't solve this problem. But going back to the problem that we show that in part C, the we're given two more pieces of information. We're given that the yield is 15% of the conversion of ethane and that there's a selectivity of 14 moles of C2H5Cl per mole of C2H4Cl2. And then we're asked to calculate the feed ratio and the fractional yield, so we're going to have to solve for all the uh, unknowns. Since we have two more pieces of information, our degree of freedom reduces to zero. Uh, let's convert those two pieces of information directly into equations that we can use. So the fractional conversion, we're going to call that equation one, is 0.15, so the 15%. And that's how much ethane you go goes in minus how much ethane comes out divided by how much ethane comes in. So that's your fractional conversion. The selectivity, which is 14, uh, and it said before that it was C2H5Cl, so we put that on top, divided by the amount of C2H4Cl2 coming out the bottom. We already were given that uh, the amount of C2H5Cl is 100 moles, so we're going to plug that in right away, uh, and then we're going to call that equation 2. Now let's do a reactor balance on carbon. So we know for every C2H6 moles coming in, so every mole of ethane coming in, there's two carbons. So that's why we have the two out front. And that's going to be equal to uh, two times all the ethane coming out, because once again, there's two carbons. Uh, two times the amount of C2H5Cl coming out, because that's the amount of carbons. And again, two times the amount of C2H4Cl2 coming out. Uh, those all, all those twos can actually cancel, and we can replace what we know for um, the amount of moles of N2C2H5Cl to get equation three, which is right here. We'll then do a hydrogen balance. So for the ethane coming in, there's six hydrogens there, so it's six times the moles of ethane. Um, there's five on this component. There's six on this chemical. There's four on this chemical, and then there's one on the HCl. So if we, if we replace what we already know about the uh, N2C2H5Cl, N2 we know that that's 500 moles times the five carbons in each one of those, or five hydrogens in each one of those moles. We can get equation four is what we're going to call this. And then lastly, we'll do the same thing but on chlorine. So we have two chlorines for every chloride atom, or chlorine coming in because it's Cl2. Then we have only one for every C2H5Cl, which we replace right away because we know that's 100 moles. 
Um, we know that N2Cl2 coming out is zero, so we can cross that out. And then we have two for every one of this molecule and one for every HCl, giving us equation five, which is right here. So we have five equations and five unknowns. Um, you can solve it any way you like, but the easiest way is probably to solve equation two first. And once you solve equation two, you can then solve equation one and equation three together. Uh, after that, equation f you can solve equation five or four directly. And lastly, you can solve equation five directly uh, for the one unknown that's left. This gives us uh, N1 H C one N1 of ethane. So the ethane coming in is 714.27 moles. Uh, the amount of chlorine coming in is 114.28 moles. Um, the amount of carbon, or uh, the amount of ethane leaving is 607.13 moles. The amount of C2H4Cl2 leaving is 7.14 moles. And the amount of hydrogen chloride leaving is 114.28 moles. Looking at the feed ratio, we get, um, we want to look at the moles of, of Cl2 coming in over the moles of ethane um, coming in. And comparing those numbers, we get a phase ratio of 0.16 moles of Cl2 per mole of C2H6. And for fractional yield, we're going to look at the moles of C2H5Cl coming out versus the theoretical yield. And the theoretical yield is based on the Cl, or, uh, chloride, chlorine being the limited reactant, because it is. And for every, since we're getting we're putting in 114.28 moles of Cl2, and for every one, every one Cl, every one Cl2, we get one C2H5Cl. We can get the theoretical yield of amount of C2H5Cl to be also be 114.28 moles. So taking those two numbers, we get a fractional yield of 0.875, or about 87.5% yield. Be sure to check out chemicalengineeringhq.com for more problems, lectures, and solutions like this. The problem and the answer will be linked in the description below. Feel free to leave me a comment telling me anything about the website or about this problem solution. Thank you.